Hi, Corey here, and we're in another edition of Tuesdays with Corey with our esteemed colleague and friend, Jeffrey Snover. You're wearing and, the same shirt as well, last You time. are too. Yeah. yeah, last week. We, we, uh, we dressed the same way, yeah. two weeks in a row. I never change, actually. Thank you. That's true, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised you're not wearing, you don't have a tie. No. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, anyway. Work clothes. Um, work, oh, the work clothes don't have a tie. I see, yeah. I see. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, because Jeffrey was the, the brain and the originator of PowerShell and DSC, we're going to talk a little bit about how those, uh, those products integrate nicely with Azure. And so, I'll start off just quickly. Yep. One of the things that, we've, um, that we mm -hmm. just recently released is new template support yeah. uh, on top of Azure. Yeah. And so, you can basically build a JSON template and put all these pieces together and it'll orchestrate it. But one of the difficulties we've had is being able to install things inside the VM. Exactly. And so this is where I think PowerShell and then DSC has really been a, a great additive benefit for customers. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about sort of the work that you guys did there um, and to, uh, to add that support in Azure. Yeah, so you know, you could always provision a system with, with PowerShell, right? right? But the, the challenge there was that you had imperative logic and what happens if this you know, uh, has an error, how do you recover from that, et cetera. And so uh, what we did was we invented desired state configuration. Configuration. Yes. Desired state configuration is a more imperative model. Right. And so you say, hey, uh, here's the way I want the system to be, yeah. and make it so. You know, right. Jean-Luc Picard. Yeah, very nice. Boom, very make nice. it so. Yeah. And what'll happen is we'll go and it's we'll trademark, find out. So we'll probably have to bleep that, but yeah, yeah. yeah. go on. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> go on, sorry, I've, I'm, I've been rude. I've been rude. Well, with the hair, I think I'm yeah. pretty. I, you, you, you're safe, you're yeah. safe, probably, yeah. You okay, so safe. you just say, <laughs> Make it so, and we'll go and figure out, hey, is the system in that state? Yeah. And if it is, great, and if it's not, we'll go make it so. Right. And uh, that might require multiple convergence cycles, mm -hmm. uh, but eventually we'll say, yep, it's in this state, uh, tell you if there's any deviations, right. uh, and then we'll monitor the system, to make and sure then tell you. The yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, have you ever had that, you're like, you set it all up and everything's you fine, yeah, exactly. and, then, and then something's pear-shaped, and you're like, Okay, what did you change? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> and so now we'll have this log womp, that says, womp. exactly, <laughs> sad trombone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now we have this log that says, oh, hey, between this time and this time, Here's what changed. This idiot changed something. Yeah, and, got it. Yeah, and you yeah. can monitor it or yeah. you can autocorrect it. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah, nice. so really just a transformational way of doing things. That's and it awesome. came out of last week we talked about how during technology plan and I stepped back and I said, hey, we needed changes to be a great cloud OS. Right. So part of it was this dramatic refactoring in nano server. Right. The second was around configuration management. Right. That we really needed a great architecture around that. In the past, you just sort of said, yeah, best of luck, my friend. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. Good luck. Uh, play, play with it how yeah, you will. Lots yeah. of different ways to do exactly. it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. We support, we support them all. Them all. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and that doesn't really work it doesn't in the cloud. Work, no. Uh, very good. Yeah. And so actually one of the things that we've done um, is uh, we've seen DSC actually starting to be more and more integrated into the templates that are built on Azure. And so great example here, and we'll put a link down here, um, is a... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, remembering to last week's show. Um, uh, we'll put a link down here. Uh, and uh, the SharePoint template uh, that we've got actually is yeah. built entirely using DSC inside the VM with template and JSON around it. And so it's really actually pretty great. Yeah. So take a look at that one. And tell me a little bit about, you know, how does that integrate with some of the other configuration management solutions? Because yeah. I know there's a bunch out there, right? Yep. Like, uh, you know, if someone also wanted to use, Chef. let's say, Chef, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so basically we're uh, positioning desired state configuration as a distributed, heterogeneous configuration management platform. That's about mouthful. So it's a platform. Yeah. yeah. Well, the key thing is it's a platform. That's what white Microsoft does so well. That's right. We do platforms mm -hmm. and then empower their partners to do their to best work on top. on top of our platform, right. right? And then to get rich thereby. Right. So basically, yeah, we've been working with a number of this uh, configuration management vendors, yeah. um, Chef for instance, and then they layer right on top of that. So right. for instance, at uh, the latest conferences, I think we talked about this last week, we demonstrated Chef running on yeah. Nano yeah, Server, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, provisioning Nginx and right. Django. All right, but and that was all, all with, oh, and with D DSC as well, under, yeah. under the covers, running underneath Chef. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool that's stuff. That's really good stuff. Thanks, Jeffrey. I, I appreciate the time. It's yeah. been really, it's been really a pleasure. Yeah, you week won't be after back, week. Though. You won't be back, though. Oh. But, um, I mean, this was good. If you have other questions, and you, maybe he'll be back. If you have other questions for either me or for Jeffrey, go ahead and ask them on uh, hashtag Azure TWC. Yes. I can never remember the. I can never remember the Tuesdays with Corey. Oh. Uh, I can never remember the the uh, Twitter handle. So that's embarrassing. Anyway, um, make sure you ask those questions. We'll get on them. If there's enough questions or interest, we can always get back together with uh, with Jeffrey. Get back together. Uh, but otherwise, you won't see him again. So uh, for those of you who, you know, anyway.
Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I really appreciate it. This has been fun. And um, hope you have a great Tuesday. Thanks a lot. See ya. <laughs> oh, now we both. <laughs> we can't both do it. No, you go. You're the guest. You're the guest. And the idiot. <laughs> All right, hold on. Get your hands on. Get your hands on this. All right. I, I mean, I did that. I'm, it's fine. All right, you ready? What's your topic this time? DSC and PowerShell DSC and, and PowerShell. integration into Azure. Yep. And basically, how easy it is to deploy things with templates. And those things, right? Yep. All right, ready? All right. Mm -hmm.